All right, so everybody, welcome back. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna continue on with a little bit of TA training. And everybody does things a little bit differently. So we just talked to CJ from Market Rebellion. He took a look at how he does things and gave a brief introduction and an explanation of what's going on in the market as far as technical analysis. Now we've got a friend of the show, Wynn Mullet, who uh, is going to be showing his system and how he does things. And as a reminder, everybody does uh, TA a little bit different. So that's why I invited Wynn Mullet. Unfortunately, he had a horrible accident and I uh, cannot show his face. No, I'm just kidding. He's just uh, very much into privacy. So we just got to welcome Wynn Mullet. So thanks for coming on. Show us uh, what the whole system is. Hi, Rob. Thanks a lot. Um, my model is pretty simple. It's designed for beginners and experienced people. Mm -hmm. I learned this from uh, Stephen Bigelow, who teaches candles uh -huh. and uh, candle charting and the system works for stocks, for Forex, Comex, works for crypto for me. A lot of people when I first got started said that the approach to stocks and the approach to crypto would be different. I don't see it that way. And uh, a lot of guys who share this model, uh, we've made a lot of money with it and they don't see it that way either. So um, Again, this is going to kind of be geared towards beginners and people who may have no clue what we're talking about. Right. And I would like to start pretty much with the fundamentals of what are we looking at here? Here's my chart. Oh, do I need to share my screen? Yeah. So I'm going to make sure that you have access. Sorry. You should. And then click on that green button, share screen, and then pull up uh, the chart I, that you want. And then as, as Mullet's doing that, as a quick reminder, this is not financial advice. Now, different traders and different people and investors will make uh, so much money here and there, but everything that we talk about is not to be construed as financial advice as your results may vary uh, quite greatly. Uh, we'll just say that. So not financial advice, entertainment purposes only, and uh, this is just a system. So let's take a look. Absolutely. And I almost encourage people to think very hard before starting trading. And when you do get started, you should paper trade. You should have a journal. You should make notes of I'm buying this because of this reason at this price on this date. I expect it to, obviously, we're going to expect it to go up. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't go up, then you can go back and, and kind of figure out where you misread the chart and then learn from that. So if you're going to get started, I would advise you to paper trade at least three months almost on a full-time basis until you get comfortable with what you're doing. Yeah. Never so ever go in and use your whole bankroll. Gotcha. You know, if you're going to put a thousand dollars into it, start with a hundred bucks, start with 50 bucks and do one trade at a time. If you can take that 50 bucks and make $10 with percent, that's a great trade. Get out of it and find another one. All right, so it makes sense. So first, when you start, just do it on paper, meaning no money whatsoever. Second level would be like, just like uh, five, 10 bucks if you can afford it, and then maybe become a baller and then go, uh, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. Again, not financial advice, just a good way to look at uh, the different aspects of TA. All right, so Mo, what exactly. do we got here? What do we got here? What's this token? Well, this is a chart and this is a candle chart because the price indicators here resemble a candle. Yeah. So. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit. So the green candles are a positive day where it opened the bottom of the candle, it closed at the top of the candle. Now we know crypto's 24 seven and I know C and, um, that at 6 p.m. Eastern time, I believe is when the new daily candle forms. So you have to have an opening close so arbitrarily, that's the time when it does it. So the wicks above and below the body is just the price action for the day. Mm -hmm. The price dipped down to here during the day. It jumped all the way up to here during the day. But at 6 p.m. when it closed, that's where it was. That's where the candles produced. Right. A red candle is a down day. Your red candle is going to open at the top and it's going to close at the bottom. Right. Very simple. So right. that's that's what we're looking at as far as the candles is concerned. It's the price action. 
for that given time frame. This is a daily chart. I do most of my charting on the daily. You can pull up a monthly, a weekly, where each candle is a month, each candle is a week. You can do daily. If you're into a little bit more day trading, you can do it on an eight hour, you can do it on a five minute if you want. That's getting pretty extreme, but the system that I'm going to show you works on any time frame. Okay, let's take a look at this system. So tell right. us where we should be selling and buying. Well, this orange line here is the eight unit, eight day, we're on a daily chart. So we'll call it the eight day exponential moving average. So eight EMA, um, got it. EMA, there okay. are simple moving averages and then there's the ex uh, exponential. It just gives a little bit more weight to the price action towards the end of the period. So um, simply put, if you get two candle closes above that eight EMA, mm -hmm. you would buy it or hold it. If you get two closes below it, you would sell it. So, okay, so great, show us an we're example. Just gonna, right, we're just gonna pick this up here in no particular spot. This works, you can go back and look at this on any chart for any uh, item you may wanna buy and this holds true. Okay. So here we got some sideways action. We're down below. So we're just watching it and we're waiting to see, okay, where's our entry point? So we got a candle. We got to close above. We got to close below. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're coming up. We have one close above. We have two closes above. Boom. There's our buy signal. We just bought it. Okay. So we're going to ride it up. It's touching. It opened below, but it closed above. It keeps going up, keeps going up. We have one close on the line. We have a close below. We have another close below. The system says two candle closes below the eight, we would sell it. Gotcha. So, so we let me, bought it down here. We sold it up here. We just made money. Great. So let me let me recap just to make this, make this quick. So that sure. yellow line right there, you're talking about the eight EMA, right? The eight exponential moving oh, average. Right. So once we see two green candles form above it or close above it, that means we, we should or we should probably think pretty hard about buying. We buy it right. and then we wait, wait, wait until we find two bearish candles looking like the red where they close below that yellow AEMA. And then we say, okay, probably time to sell. Very simple. Right. Two yes. above, buy, two below, sell. Right. That's it. Now there's a couple of caveats, which- Always is. Know, there always is because this is, Look, we're trying to predict the future. Nothing's 100% foolproof. The system works 70% of the time. Yeah. The charts, the market is there to fool us and take our money from us. So you have to, you know, you have to be careful and you have to, you have to watch it closely. Um, the caveats are if it's been going, if the market's been going down for a while, that downward gravity is hard to break sometimes. So Instead of just two candles above, you may want to give them a few extra candles to make sure that it's reversing. Okay. The other caveat is the further away from that eight EMA the candle goes, the more likely it is to return to it. So if you bought down here where you should have and you're riding this up and you get a big giant day that looks like about a 50% day, which is unusual, you may want to take some profits at the top of that candle because you know the candle is going to come back down and then you can rebuy and you more or you take some profits and buy your position back. That's gotcha. the other caveat. And then the third caveat is if you do have a good profit in something and you get two candle closes below, you might want to give it a couple of more just to see what happens here. This one kind of went sideways for a little while and then it took off again. And then it took off again. So hmm. if you got a good profit there, yeah, you, lo you, you didn't really lose anything because you didn't sell it, but you may want to be a little patient and see if it's going to take off for another leg and take off for another leg. Okay, gotcha. So, and then it's one of those things that you, that you said before, like it's amazing how a, uh, a short-term uh, losing trade becomes a long-term investment. So if you uh, hit it on the wrong parts, just say, you know what? Maybe I'll just hold on to this for a little bit. Just like the weather in Houston. If you don't like the price, it'll change maybe in a couple of days. Absolutely. 
However, again, not financial advice, but it makes it very simple. So two above buy, two below sell, some caveats there as they go up a little bit too high, maybe just consider taking profits. And remember, there's a, very, there's a very big difference between the mindset of a day trader and the mindset of an investor. Day traders or traders are looking for a short-term type of game and they can get out at any time. Long-term investors, of course, are just looking at the long-term viability of an actual uh, cryptocurrency, a company, a digital asset, and then we'll ride it out up, down, sideways, doesn't matter to us, and we'll go the whole way. Traders, a little bit different. Investors, a little bit different mindset. All right, mullet. Absolutely. Thanks so much for making it simple and quick. Anything else before we take off here? Um, if you're interested in learning more about candles, Stephen Bigelow um, is a good resource. And actually, this, is, this philosophy is based on his teachings. Okay. And if you're really interested in learning how to chart, um, there's a good YouTube uh, channel, TA with Keith Lay, L-A-Y-E. <laughs> he uses this model. He teaches it. There's a lot of guys in there making a lot of money with that. And they're always welcoming new people in. He's got, uh, does a live stream on Tuesdays and Thursday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you'd like to join us there, you're welcome to. All right, I'll link that into the description. And that is it. So uh, everybody take a look at that. Maybe watch it a couple of times, make sure you got it. Uh, it doesn't seem too tarp, too tough. And that is it for today. So if you found value in the video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And that is it for this one. And uh, again, thanks Mola for coming by and we'll see you on the next one.